Hey, what's going on everyone? Big here for Serpent X Tech, and I'm sure some of you may remember that the top section of this corner cabinet, the shelf basically, fell onto my NVIDIA mining rig, the side one right here primarily. However, in the process, it broke some wine glasses and not only broke my old school 760 fan blades, but somehow a piece of glass ricocheted in some form or another and hit the third car in, the ASUS RTX 2080, breaking the fan blade on it. And I posted about it on the channel, but you can see that first fan is looking real bad. Uh, so we need to replace that. What I'm actually gonna do is throw you guys up on a GoPro and get to work. We're gonna tear it down because I actually have some replacement fans right here that just came in and I'll give or take a picture of the actual original part from ASUS, make sure it's compatible with this. It should be good, but just so that you have it for the future, because I know trying to get legitimate good fans for your GPUs can be a little bit hard with all these secondary counterfeit models and makes that are out there. So let's get the GoPro started and uh, fix this GPU.
up and running all 14 GPUs. Loading up in Hive OS, being detected. Had a little bit of trouble at the beginning there because obviously when you mess around in this area, you're gonna make some of those wires loose. But as you can see, the fans looking good. And on top of that, um, I got a picture that I'll show you of the old versus new. One is 0.45 amps, while the old was 0.30 amps. So I wonder if that will make it last a little bit longer than what it did originally. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, I know the video was a little bit long. Just wanted to take you along with me. The journey wasn't, wasn't bad at all because you can just take off the fan from the front side. Uh, you know, take remove the, cool, uh, the cooler. What was it? So three in the bottom, two big screws in the top. Um, and then four fan of uh, four screws per fan. So it wasn't too many screws The blade was actually as you saw if you caught it was kind of like stuck it underneath the GPU shroud But yeah, it just hit that sucker and just broke right off uh, These cables are protected though by some heat shrink Whereas uh, the cables the aftermarket cables I got are just the bare cable. I wonder if that's gonna be a problem in the long run, but they're both 85 or 88 millimeters um different manufacturers but we'll see how these do in the long run and at least now that we got a fan being able to run at the full percentage that i i have set we should be able to keep this gpu nice and cool but the uh, rtx 2080 back in action i didn't replace thermal paste because i'm still using cryo not extreme that thermal paste is non-conductive and lasts a long time doesn't settle or get hard like some of the older like arctic silver thermal paste so Thermals were fine on it, it's just that fan was making an annoying no noise um, and obviously I didn't want it to continue to wobble like that and break anything else. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. Do me a favor on the way out, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description that help support the channel and what we do here. Uh, I said a job to replace the fans on the ASUS RTX 2080 was about 5 to 7 minutes, so not too bad whatsoever. Rig is back up and running and operational. Take care. I'll catch you on the next one.